<coughs> oh my gosh, I didn't pee myself. That's amazing. Good thing, because I'm returning this. <laughs> Ugh, I just bought this like phone thing for my car and this arm just keeps like swiveling all over the place. It's like driving me crazy. Let me know if you guys have one. This is about to all, this, yep, there you go. Wonderful. Let's try this again. So we're going over here. <laughs> There's also a Ross over here. So what I am looking for today is um, I'm actually looking for Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm looking for some new jewelry. I would love some new necklaces and earrings. It's been a really long time since I've purchased new jewelry and I'm kind of just feeling like I don't really have a whole lot to wear on my ears. I'm also looking for some hair supplies. Like I'd love a good shampoo, um, some hair accessories, some more like clips and headbands like this. Just some more like accessories, possibly some styling stuff, a curling iron. Let's go head inside. We're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. Ross is over here. And then I know Jenna is gonna, I'm meeting up with Jenna today. She's actually parked over um, between Nordstrom Rack and I guess there's some Marshalls in here too. So they've got a bunch of good stuff um, right here. This is in the San, the San Marcos um, little shopping center over here near Jenna's salon. So we're gonna go in and see what we find and then um, we'll show you guys everything after. I can't tell if I like this. Jenna's a fan of these. Brixton, cute. You're like the only person that could make that hat look cute. <laughs> Oh yeah. That was the original purple shampoo. Absolutely. I still have this in my shower in Nashville. Oh my god. <laughs> a little too loud for me, but cute. Reminds me of like a Chloe bag. I love Ted Baker. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. Thanks. This is literally all they have for jewelry. And that's all they have over there for sunglasses, that one little thing. So I guess I'm done. <laughs> We're gonna try Marshalls. Where is the jewelry? They don't have jewelry here, do they? This is a really good stocking stuffer. It's like $4.99. Should I start buying these early, like stocking stuffers? Absolutely. Is it too much? No, <laughs> no, never too early. I feel early. like Christmas always comes and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go get a bunch of stocking stuffers. Yep. What is this brand? Pearl Essence? Did they kind of steal like IGK or whatever? Or R &Co? Pearl Essence, I've never heard of them. R Co or is it IGK? IGK. They use like the pictures mm -hmm. for their There's another one that does that too. Yeah. I wasn't filming, <clears throat> but this silly woman <laughs> takes this. It literally says self tan on it. <laughs> Starts rubbing it on one portion of her arm. Well, let's literally it's come right back here now, in an hour it. and we'll see. It's three hours. It takes three okay, hours. We'll come back in three hours. This does smell really good though. If this is self tanner, I'm buying it all. Look at these. Not everybody hated the Coyote Ugly shirt. Just she that needs bad. You're right, you're right. I that's that's true. She needs this these to go with that coyote ugly shirt from the Nordstrom. Well, and I think I'm gonna get this just for the package. That's really cute. We finished up at Ulta, got so much good stuff. She's gonna do a little get ready with me kind of thing with the makeup at some point. So if you are somebody that doesn't really know how to wear makeup or put it on, then you should watch that because all of her reactions will probably be what yours are and you can figure it out together. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. What I, I feel like I'm gonna get really lost with like the brushes and the sponges. Like it just, I really Maybe technically- we should get ready together. Yes, because I don't really know what they're for. I usually just am like, oh, I think this will work. Yeah. But I don't know like this brush and this angled brush and this fluffy brush and then this... I don't either. It doesn't matter. It just, it, it matters what works for you. Yeah. I use wrong brushes for things all the time. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Kristen says fuck it, so fuck <laughs> it. Our salads haven't come out yet, but we couldn't resist these. We're on the happy hour menu, and so are these. These look a little burnt, no? <laughs> Let me try and see. Yeah, they'll look crispy. And I have one last question before I go. Yes. Let's see your tanner arm. Uh oh. Did your tan develop? No. You are still pasty as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm almost whiter. Oh, wow. Okay, so a different day we're filming this at my house because 
I filmed at Jenna's house and unfortunately the footage is not going to work because the mic is all messed up. So let's just start here. I'm gonna try and roll through this pretty quickly because there's a lot here. I ended up getting a lot of clothing, hardly any jewelry. I got some hair stuff, but I would say that mostly I got like just shit tons of clothing. So I will show you what I got. I was anticipating <laughs> separating these out so I could show you what I got from Nordstrom Rack versus TJ Maxx or Marshalls or where I think we just went to Marshalls and TJ Maxx or Marshalls and Nordstrom Rack. But they've all gotten mixed up now that I've had this sitting in my room for like two weeks. So I've been picking and pulling things and wearing it and pulling off the tag. So if I don't know the price, I'm just going to guess. But um, let's just go ahead and get started. I found so many good things. Shopping with Jenna is like always a good thing, but also a very bad thing for your wallet because she finds all the good Let's get started. This was um, from Nordstrom Rack. This brand Elodie that they have, it always ha they always have it. It's the cutest stuff. So this is a brown little dress and then there's like a little bit of a peekaboo in the back and it's like goes to like mid calves on me and I just thought this was really cute. I wanna say this was around $28.99. Um, and I've already worn this a couple times and I absolutely love this. Next, I've been getting into wearing hats a little bit. So this guy is from Nordstrom Rack and it's $14.97. I just thought this was super cute. Um, I used to think like I looked really not good in hats and I can't actually kind of still feel that way. But if I have like my hair and makeup done and if I do like little buns or something like this, I'm pretty into that. So I just like this like little simplistic design. I thought it was super cute. It was also one of the only hats without makeup all over the inside. So that was a plus. This dress, Jenna talked me into buying this. She owns it and she paid, she paid like, oh, hat hair. Um, she paid like full price for this and I'm terrified because it's white and every time I get something white on it, I spill something on it. This is, so I wasn't sure about this and I already had a super full cart, but I went for it anyway. This looks really cute, pregnant. Also, it's a free people dress and extra small, so it runs pretty large. And it was $21.97. It's got these like puffy sleeves. Hey, kitty, no, absolutely not. Go get a job, you can buy your own dresses. It's like, just looks super cute. And then um, this big tie, ties in the back. And so you can see my back piece and it just looks like super cute. If this cat ruins one of these outfits, I'm gonna throw a bitch fit. <laughs> Put this on silent. So I got these for after I'm not pregnant anymore. I saw this little tie in the front and it brought me back to middle school and I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure Nick is going to love these. These are Billabong um, and they got them at Nordstrom Rack for $34.97. I can actually wear these with the belly, but I can't do it all the way up. But um, yeah, I'm stoked to be able to wear these. I think, what size did I get? I got a 29. So we'll see how quickly I fit back in those. This dress is super cute. It feels very, very cheap, which I was really shocked when I saw the price tag. This is French Connection from uh, Nordstrom Rack. And originally this fucking dress was $98. And if I wish you could feel this through the screen. It kind of feels like a tablecloth. So I only paid $29.97. And if I didn't love the color and the sleeves and everything so much, I probably wouldn't have gone with it because it does feel like a very cheap fast fashion type dress, which you usually don't get when they're, you have a $98 price tag. So I don't know if that's typical of French Connection. I don't really have a lot of their things, but I just really liked this. You guys would be proud of me. I actually ordered, ordered, I mean, I purchased like a lot of color. So um, this is one of the colorful pieces, but I thought this was really cute. Just, um, not sure how long it's gonna last. This dress, I'm so bummed that I do not um, fit in this. <laughs> so this is from Marshalls and it's giving me like beach bohemian vibes. It was $12.99. It is so cute. So it's got this like little top and I, it's kind of like a tie dye, like light blue and it's a long dress and the back has like these little ties that tie across your back and it's like a braided thing. I think I'm going to give this to my friend Taylor. She is pretty much flat and my boobs just like pop out the sides of this. Like there's no way to 
manipulate the titties or like make it work. It's just not going to work. So I'm really sad about that because I love this color with like my neck tattoo and my eyes. And I just think it's like so pretty and I want to wear it so bad, but I can't. So I'm going to give this to her. She gifted me a dress that she doesn't fit in. And I think it's because her boobs are too small for it. So now I'm going to give her a dress because my tits are too big for it. This dress, I have to do some sewing on this or have my stepmom do some sewing, but um, kind of the same bohemian type vibes, open back, pretty long. I liked the color. I don't think I own anything this color. This is from Nordstrom Rack. It was $29.97 down from $74. The weird thing about this one is, okay, I like the double um, thing here and it ties around, but it gapes a little bit here. Like it hangs open a little bit, even no matter how tight it's tied, no matter how you have the little fabric distributed up here, it just kind of does that. So all I need to do is glue or glue. My brain lately, dude, my brain is like scrambled eggs um, that are burnt. <laughs> um, I need to sew this down like that and then it'll be perfect, but this is really cute too. I'm excited to wear this now that I'm filming this haul right now. I can dive into this stuff and actually wear it. I've been trying not to touch it because once it gets put away in my closet, I sometimes never see it again. Jenna forced me to buy this. It's kind of like a tie-dye moto dress from Topshop. I got it for $34.97. And this, I feel like could be worn with a lot of different things, like some little Doc Martens, some boots, some Steve Madden boots. It kind of is like, I can't remember. I think it's like, well, you guys will see when I put it on. Uh, I'll put it over the screen, but it's, I, I, I'm either gonna love this or hate it. I liked it when I tried it on. We'll see if I ever actually wear it, but she thought it was absolutely adorable and super me, so I had to buy it. This is just super plain shirt, so I love these Madewell shirts. I got this because my husband Nick is loving, like, he's really into low-rise pants and has been forever, but now they're finally coming back around, so I can probably find them somewhere. This is an extra, extra small, so I got this with um, the idea that I would kind of like tie it up or it would just be kind of small. When I was like 17 and 18, I wore tons of small little shirts with like really low rise pants and jeans. And that was kind of like my little look as everyone's look. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about recreating that with this. I got black just to be safe. I've been buying these like Madewell shirts, like just the plain basic ones from Madewell full price. And they had a giant rack of all the colors. So I think I actually bought like a white one too, but that was a good, good buy. It was $16.97. The shirt is so freaking soft. This is a bill, this is a billabong shirt. Um, I got it for $23.97. It just has a little like palm tree over here and it says Sun Club. I got this because I love the colors. I love how soft it is. I'm pretty much gonna live in this shirt. Um, that's kind of what I foresee happening. So that was a must buy. Okay, this might be the last of the clothing items. No, there is something that's missing here and I'm going to have to just put it on the screen and show you when I tried it on. I love it. I don't know where it is, but I'll show it to you in a sec. So I didn't know that Steve Madden made clothes. So uh, that's news to me. Maybe it's news to you too, uh, or maybe I'm just completely alone, but I got this for $49.97, originally $89. It is like a little greaser, like me or mechanic, I guess I should say, like little jumpsuit. And the sleeves have this like cute little button on it. And it even looks cute when you're pregnant. So I probably will only be able to wear this for like a couple more weeks while I'm pregnant because this thing is growing and growing fast, okay? I just went to an ultrasound appointment the other day at one of those like boutique places and they told me that he's measuring two weeks ahead and weighs like almost two pounds, like one ounce away from weighing two pounds and I'm 24 weeks. Hey, Katie. Really cute kind of out of my comfort zone with like an all baby pink outfit, but it looks cute. Like you could wear this with espadrilles, you could wear it with rainbow sandals, you could wear it with Converse, you could wear it with high top vans, like you could really do a lot with this. And that's kind of the pieces I like when I can see myself wearing them with different types of shoes depending on where I'm going. So 
I'm pretty glad I bought this. Little self-care item. This is a foot file and I'm actually really excited to put this in my shower and grate the dead skin off my feet. I don't think um, salons are allowed to use this so I was surprised to see it at Marshalls. I got it for $4.99 and I was like, I have to try that. So um, yeah, I, I will be trying this this evening. I got a set of House of Harlow earrings for $16.99. These are super cute. They are little gold hoops and my husband freaking loves hoops. Like if I could turn myself into a chola and just wear giant hoops, I'm pretty sure I'd get laid even more, but I can't turn myself into that. So what I can do is wear just super giant hoops. And I asked Nick, I go, how big do the hoops like need to be? Cause like back in my middle school days, I had hoops really big. And when I asked him that question, he literally just laughed and kind of like had a shit eating grin on his face. And I'm like, seriously, like that big? Like, I don't even know where to find those, but I will um, start the hunt. <laughs> headbands, love me some good headbands, especially when it's times like now where my extensions are lighter than my hair and showing a little too much. This is a pearl headband. Super cute. This was $5.99. We were like following around. The lady that was working at Marshall's um, was like put, had just a bin of headbands and we were just following her around, like shopping through all of it. I'm like, I, we're so annoying. I'm so sorry. But um, they had some really, really cute headbands. I just never see the point of like buying these from like my kitsch or whatever and just paying full price. Like this is the same damn thing. They have cute shit there and it was only $6 as opposed to like $16. I'm not paying $16 for a freaking headband. I got this perfume that's called Coco Breeze. It has no brand name on it, so I literally don't know where it's from. Um, it just says Coco Breeze, and that is the scent. It smells oh, like so clean and good. It reminds me of those, Jenna pointed this out, and I was like, dude, you're so right, I had those. Victoria's Secret, a long time ago, had these plastic, squared um contain like packaging of perfume and it was like a like a see-through pink like hot pink and like a blue one and then the caps were mix matched on them and this smells just like that and when jenna said that i was like dude i had that i had those and it smells exactly like it so this is like oh, super nostalgic um and i never would have placed my finger on it but that's exactly what it is did any of you have those do you remember what i'm talking about Last thing for this bag, this is a reusable breast lift pasty. So these were $5.99 and it gives your titties a little lift. Oh, um, I didn't, I don't know if I need the breast lift part. Maybe after this next baby I will, I don't know. But I just loved the fact that it's such a, covers a, such a big area of your boob because I find that when I wear those small ones, you see them almost the same, if not more, as just my nipple. So they're very obvious under certain types of like shirts and clothing that you wear that's like tight and thin. So I thought maybe with these, I could get away with a little bit more and be able to wear more of my clothing without like being able to see the outline of something similar to the size of a nipple. So we'll see how this goes. Hair accessories. Okay, we'll blow through this real quick. These were $6.97. These are from TJ Maxx. A scrunchie pack for $6.97. I actually already took one of these off of here because I really needed one. This was near me and then Harlow started playing with it and God knows where it is now. More cute headbands. I loved this one. Um, let's see. This was $6.97 and $7.97 and just like pretty neutral. Could go with anything. Had to have them. I love these. They're scrunchy bows and this one's like kind of tie dye. I love just doing a quick messy bun and throwing this up or like just a ponytail and these were $5.97. Some more clips. So these were like two-toned with colors. So I thought these were super cute. These were $7.97. They're nice and big. I just am in love with like the orange and pink and just the two-toned color situation going on here. I had to have it. More hair clips. These are just basic. I thought I needed like some for like like half up like hair moments. I've been doing that a lot lately and I like a little messy bun with it like half up. So these were $5.97 for two of them. This is another bow scrunchie. I don't know what kind of fat, what this fabric is called, but I really like this and I just, it's black, it goes with everything. $4.97. 
I didn't do super hot in the jewelry category, so there's a few here though. This is a Vince Camuto. I thought that like these were just adorable. These were $9.97. These are sterling silver. They were $24.97. They're just really simple little earrings that could probably go like on my second hole maybe. I'm actually about to pierce some more holes in my ear. So yeah, I need more earrings, but that's a good start. These were $11.97. They're like little chains with some little bling on there. These are super, super cute. And they have big backs, which are good for my ears because I had my ears gauged to like an inch when I was in school and they have just never gone back. <laughs> Last for the jewelry, this is a set of three bracelets and I love that two of them are stretchy because I don't know about you, but I have so many cute bracelets and I pretty much never wear them because I can never get bracelets on myself. I tried really hard today and I got these on here, but like bracelets are so hard to fucking put on. So I pretty much never wear them, but these are really cute. I love the little flowers and the pink. This bottom one I am gonna have to put on like old school and I'll probably just get really pissed off and throw it out a window when I try. Here is that other just super, basic made well white tee and that will join the black one this is a super bright top and when i was trying these on for this video i was shocked that nick loved this so much pretty much nick wants me to look like as bright as a fishing lure like at all times i don't know what it is but like he just loves when I look bright and I have super bright colors on. So I grabbed this for him with him in mind. This was from Marshalls and it was $9.99. It's just a little like high neck sweater shirt and it's super cute. And when I, I went out to the garage when I was trying this on, I had this and underwear on and like he like stopped what he was doing and just stared at me and watched me walk across the garage. And I was like, is it because it's like tight? Is it because it's like neon colored and he's like, yeah, neon colored. <laughs> Anytime I can look like a fishing lure, I'm gonna get laid. So this dress is a really, really pretty color. I love the way that it fits. Um, the straps are like a little long. I might need to adjust those or like sew them a little bit, but I love this dress. Like I love the color of it. I don't own anything like this. Like the color is just super unique for me. So this was um, one that Jenna talked me into that I wasn't sure about because my cart was already so freaking full, but she talked me into it and I'm super glad that she did and I've worn it quite a few times already. I also bought Clinique Happy Perfume and I don't have it here because I've been wearing it. <laughs> um, I took it with us to Santa Barbara. So if you haven't seen that vlog, we did a little baby moon where we jetted to Santa Barbara. We went wine tasting. I didn't really do much wine tasting, obviously, um, but I had some of the best mocktails I've ever had in my life. So I'll link you guys to that below if you wanna check it out. But that is the end of this haul. I spent way too much money. I think I spent around $600 on everything and there is a possibility that I'm missing a couple pieces because I have been picking through this over the past couple weeks to wear some of it, so yeah. But if you enjoyed this type of video, give it a thumbs up so I know and I'll do a bit more of them. I am never gonna turn down a trip to one of those discount stores. You know me, I love a good deal. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.